Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Chelsea. I am a mother of two boys. I do lifestyle videos, tutorials, I shoot weddings, kind of a little bit of everything. Recently, I have fallen in love with the term a capsule wardrobe. I found out what a capsule wardrobe was by listening to one of my favorite podcasters. Her name is Jess Lively. Her podcast is Jess Lively, and I'll link it down below if you're curious. She was interviewing another blogger. Um, her name is Caroline, and her blog is called Unfancy. Her blog is all about the capsule wardrobe and more of a minimalistic style approach. Recently, I've just been obsessed with like clearing things out of my house, getting rid of things, downsizing my closet, my wardrobe, and just really loving what I have. So a capsule wardrobe, according to Caroline, is 37 pieces. Now, I know a lot of people will do less, some people will do more. Whatever you're comfortable with, that should be what your capsule wardrobe is. For me, I'm still kind of figuring out that number. In the next video, I will tell you exactly how many I have, but I am trying to keep it around 37 pieces. Those 37 pieces should be pants, tops, uh, jackets, uh, shoes, dresses, that kind of thing. What it does not have to include are accessories like hats, necklaces, bags, underwear, loungewear, that kind of thing. That's kind of what a capsule wardrobe is. And the reason why I decided to do this, not only is it, you know, a new year and I'm all about getting rid of the stuff that you aren't using and kind of living with less, but I'm getting married April 5th in Mexico. That means I have about three months almost to the day and I just figured why not now? I've been wanting to do this forever. I have three months which is basically what a capsule wardrobe is. It's three months like per season. Here in Michigan it is winter so it's a very structured type of setting right now so I know that my wardrobe will not really be changing from January to the end of March. So I figured it was a really good time to do it right before the wedding. So after I had listened to Justice podcast, I popped on over to Caroline's blog called Unfancy and I really like dug into the whole idea behind it and what I needed to start my own capsule wardrobe. And then I went on to a couple different YouTubers that also um, follow this minimalistic capsule wardrobe approach and kind of got ideas of what they were using and how they were styling pieces together to get a better idea of what I wanted to do for myself. So after I was like totally on board for doing this, I started by printing off the worksheet that Caroline has on her blog, which again will be linked below, and I started filling it out and what was really cool is you go through your closet, you literally take everything out, like everything was on my floor, I mean it was a mess, and you go through things and you basically say like yes or no to things. You decide like if it is a yes, is it for the summer that you want to incorporate into your summer or your spring wardrobe later on? And if it is, then I put it in a separate part of my closet or a separate part of like the house and kind of like out of sight, out of mind type thing. If it was a no, then I put it in another pile and that pile is to either donate to a charity or to sell. Then what I had left with was a pile of yeses, things I did like. Then I went through that pile and really fine-tuned it because I had a lot of yeses, but I didn't need all the yeses. You know, maybe I just liked the way they looked or had some sentimental value to me. So I kind of went through the yes pile and really went through that. So as I was going through Caroline's workbook, there were a couple pages that I just really loved. And one of those was about your style and, and your lifestyle. And I'm a mom of two boys and I also work full-time outside of the home. My job does not require me to wear a suit every day. It is a very business casual lifestyle. So for me, I can pretty much wear things I would wear here on the weekend to work. Everything I kept in my wardrobe, I kind of thought like, could I wear this to work? And can I wear it on the weekend in running errands or going out? And that's kind of how I built my capsule wardrobe. Caroline talks about if you do work in a corporate lifestyle setting and you can't do that, then kind of have two different um, wardrobes. And again, you need to still enjoy what you're wearing to work, still enjoy what you're wearing on the weekends. But for me, I just have more of a casual approach, but I'm 29. I still want to look like kind of 
cute and fashionable but classic and edgy and stylish so it really made me sit down and think about like what is my style I've been really struggling with that lately and as a mom and as a boy mom I don't want to lose myself in my kids I still want to enjoy what I look like when I step out of the house or you know running errands I still want to have some some sense of like good feeling in my body and I know as a mom that sometimes you lose that you know you're running around in sweats all day or you're a stay-at-home mom and you know you just don't really have to change out of your pajamas every day and I think that was probably one of the most important things to me was really being able to make sure that I still had like I still showed my own sense of style in my clothing choices. What I've been realizing lately is that I have a lot of stuff that I had before I had kids and my body before I had kids was a lot smaller. Um, I'm a lot wider now in my hips and no matter how much weight I lose or how toned up I get, my hips still are going to be the same size. It's okay that I'm not going to fit back into them and I'm slowly realizing that but I need to let go of the pieces that don't fit. So with that being said, I am so excited to start my capsule wardrobe. It is starting today and I am going to stop it right before we leave on our wedding honeymoon in Mexico. If you're on the edge of thinking like whether you could do this or not, you totally can and it's not meant to restrict you and like stress you out more. It's supposed to kind of appreciate what you have and really be creative with what you have. I am so excited to show you future outfit posts or videos of kind of what I'm doing with my pieces in my capsule wardrobe. So I will have another video that shows all the pieces I chose in my capsule wardrobe. I'm so excited to begin this next like three months and hopefully it allows me to stress less on getting dressed in the morning and really concentrate on just going to work and spending time with my family and working out and getting ready for the wedding because three months is going to fly by so fast and I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and if you are also doing a capsule wardrobe, leave your blog or your YouTube or Instagram channel below and I would love to check it out. So I will see you in, in the next video which will be every single piece that I chose for my capsule wardrobe. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe and hopefully my voice is not sick in the next video, but it might be still. <laughs> Bye guys.